I'm an island boy. I'm an island boy. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> and then something no. happened. Yeah, apparently I've something seen, happened with them. And uh, I've Jake seen those Paul guys. I don't want to be one. Yeah, there was like they look a little goofy. Jake Paul went to the hospital, and I think the island boys like interrupted the fight, like from the from the audience. Uh, it was something else. It was like there was like two issues like in the pack. Oh, they were separated. Sadly, I watched. I I don't. I don't understand Uh, why I watched this, but I watched this video this morning when I woke up. That was like the rise and fall of the Island Boys. And in the past like month, they have gotten like two fights with people with a lot more clout than them. And it's just like, (laughs) what the fuck are you doing? They're like, you know who I am. You know I'm I'm straight thugging. And I'm like, they're trying to get clout. That's all it is. That's what they're trying to do. They go go after. Yeah, they go after the people with bigger clout so they can get that clout. Yeah, infamous Island Boys TikTokers mocked and doused at Jake Paul fight. Yeah, they no, yeah, that was it. They were, and they also they had a show in Miami, in Miami, Florida, where they got booed off the fucking stage. (laughs) As that made me chuckle. Be. Yeah, no, for sure. That made me chuckle hard. What, oh. is, what is really funny is we got my uh, godchild. Like she'll she she'll just be walking around. And she goes, I'm an island boy, <laughs> and it's just like, what the fuck ever? What are you doing? It's good stuff. They though. just look so ridiculous. Yeah, like, what is up with people? Like, what is up with that look these days? Like, just go for as crazy as you possibly. I mean, can. I mean, that's what it is. You got to make a spectacle of yourself to get attention. I mean, uh, do you though? So maybe if we make spectacles of ourselves and get face tattoos, do it. these numbers, will I, won't go do up. I won't do it. I won't do it. I've been thinking like, if I ever want to get on. my rap career started, I have to get a face tattoo. I'll just, put, a, I'll just put the Snapchat filter on. <laughs> all, all these rappers that don't have face tattoos, they're not getting big these days. No, no, they're going off into obscurity. I gotta, I gotta I mean, be big, you, but you still I gotta get got, dick you know, tattoo. Eminem doing his thing out there. Like, no, he, does he even have a tattoo? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he's clean. I don't know. I don't. I haven't listened to Eminem since I was like 14, so it's not a. I, I listen to Eminem music frequently. So he's still pretty big. We can't he's, go to Eminem. We've talked big. about Eminem before. We can't do it. We have, no. We can't do it. Anyway. Oh, yeah. God forbid we talk about that subject twice <laughs> instead of like all the other Only subjects we've talked now. about like three Only times in a row. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> We've never done that. What are you talking about? We've never talked about frequently about like our our own D and D podcast, chaotic stupid. That's on Spotify. We've only done that once. <laughs> We've only done that once. Let's well, be real. Nope. We made a whole show out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was one time though. One time. One or, time. Or about that off the rail show that we do that's on Patreon every other Thursday. Well, I mean, it's still one dollar. One dollar a month. One. Yeah, yeah. that's still absurd. Dude. Up to five dollars a month, or is it ten dollars a month? Five. What's the, tol- the, five. Five, the five is one, 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 three, three and five. five. Yeah, one, three, five. Yeah, we one can't go less than a dollar. We tried. God damn it. Guys, we just want, we just need some help with money. <laughs> we tried to ask for a penny. Like, we tried. You get the same <laughs> for a dollar as you do for five dollars, but just get the five dollars yeah, just, just to help us out. Yeah. Just do it. I have had people who have said that through the Patreon app, they cannot uh, uh, access our, uh, our Patreon. And I was confused because like I was sending out like the web page link mm-hmm. and everyone's like, yeah, I can't get it to pop up. And then like search, even searching through the Patreon app, there were people were having problems with it. That's so weird. <laughs> yeah. We're not meant to be paid. <laughs> no. we're Maybe shadow- I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I don't we're know shadow that. banned. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, we got shadow banned. We got shadow banned. They knew we'd be too big on Patreon. <laughs> exactly. They just shut us down. Shut us down. Mm, those like, oh, nerds we'll to know too out. much. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'll... The link, tell them to go to the link on um, our Instagram page. Okay. It's tell literally to like the top the link. Like, mm-hmm. It'll take you right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I put the correct link on there. This Listen, time. we can only make it that. so easy for you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, it's either on my, it's either on my page or the absurdity page on Instagram. It's, the, it's in one of the two. You know what? Start or asking strangers. I won't say one of the two. It's on both. It's on two of two. <laughs> Ask every person you pass by on the street how to get to our Patreon page. They'll yeah. tell you. No, they know. They'll Everyone tell knows. you or they'll say, We're more I don't know than you. Think. All right. Yeah. Uh, just, we, we keep it low key. Yeah. yeah. And then when you ask the them and thing. they don't the know, they'll the look keys. over your shoulder to figure it out. And then you both know. Yeah. And then the key, the key that we yeah. keep, how low it is. We literally buried yeah. it six feet under the ground. Yeah. 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 Anyone that's there. in New York on a subway right now, they look know. over to the person to they your know. left and right and they just know. bother them about our show. Like, have you heard of the absurdity podcast? Patreon page. I'm going to need you You're to be like a, the ninth person that's asked me today. <laughs> I'm going to need you to be a real Mormon about If you about go this. to their Instagram page, it's right there. It's on the top. It's on the top. Yeah. Click the link. Pay link them. tree. Top link. It is. Oh, yeah. It's link tree. Man. Yeah. It's like we're it adults is. or something. Yeah. I know. 
I was going to do the, I was going to do the bit.ly, but I was like, eh. nah, Linktree is better. Either way, Linktree it, is it better. does the same thing. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit.ly is where you get that like, holds a lot of links. Yeah, yeah. viruses. Yeah. yeah. Sheesh! You're gonna die. <laughs> Give me one second, because I still have tears in my eyes. He's dying inside. If you have you have a grumpy face, my default. Man, I don't even live here. Do I remove my keys, or am I just stupid? Oh, I don't like how this is going. I think this is for dummies. God, I smell dog shit. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, welcome to the Absurdity <laughs> Podcast. Uh, that's where we're at. That's, that's where we're, we're at. at. Uh, before Pens we introduce today. ourselves, I... I am going to apologize for last week. I'm not. I'm not. I'm only apologizing because we didn't give out any warning. We didn't tell anyone oh, yeah, that yeah. we were doing it. Yeah. So, um, so gonna... things came up and we just yeah, uh, life happens. To record. So life happens. I couldn't go um, to seconds without coughing. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. Yeah. I hope you I hope everyone has had a Merry Christmas and you got that yeah. wonderful, wonderful gift you got. And I'm gonna I'm going to break the time barrier real quick of this episode, seeing as it is the day that we are recording, and I want to wish everyone I mean, it'll have, I mean, like granted that it'll already have happened by now, but especially you two at the table, <gasps> happy winter solstice, my guys, oh. it is the season of change as and well as you, I am very, very thankful for this day every year, not only because it signifies great change, but mainly it's the shortest day of the year and they're only going to get longer from here on <laughs> out. Thank fucking God. Uh, and also this will be the last Quote unquote episode of the year of the season. The season. We're going into season three, babies. Yeah, uh, we did get renewed for season three. We're not so canceled. We're not canceled. No. We'll be back for season three. Uh-huh. Um, and we made that so. decision. So <laughs> <laughs> no one we renewed us. ourselves. We just, we re- yeah, we renewed ourselves. <laughs> we renewed ourselves. Our uh, contract got uh, Yeah, we called, I, we called HR. We called our PA. I, I wrote up a contract. I signed it myself. We'll, we'll be back for season yeah. three. Hell so. yeah. Woo, PR yeah. came back really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got rave reviews. Yeah. Uh, we got no reviews. We, got, <laughs> no, we have reviews on Apple Podcasts. Oh, do we? We yeah. do. Damn. None of them make they're sense. Just, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, one, they're not Americans. Uh, and they may not even be human. I'm pretty sure they're bots. They, but. One was, you are the inspiration I've been searching for. Yeah. And I'm sorry. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, yeah, I knew that was a lie the second I read maybe, it. Maybe we were the, it was the inspiration in to how not live your life. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I was a drug addict. And I was like, holy shit, I'm changing. <laughs> I Fuck do not want to be like these guys. I cannot grow up to be like these guys. <laughs> Dad uses right. his examples. <laughs> don't grow up to be like us. No, don't. We waste our lives podcast. Yeah, I hope it everyone is. enjoyed Christmas number 1686 since the year 336 AD. Is that how long Christmas has been? That's how long Christmas has been around since 336 AD. Isn't Christmas a Nordic holiday? That's you're thinking of winter solstice. You're thinking of it's Christmas became came about it is as a, Christian. You fuck. Christmas came around. It came before Christian. Like cr- Christmas itself is a Jesus. Con- Jesus is a fictional character. For one. Well, I'm fully aware. I don't, <laughs> I don't agree with them. But no, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it was like kind of brought about as an answer for like. We'll, we'll, we will Christianify yeah. these pagan. Yeah, Christmas y- y- comes from a Christian. Well, it's 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 Faith. like it, it, it's mainly the Paganism. Wister Soul. That's what yeah, I was yeah, for, it, yeah, it comes it's, from an illegitimate birth of a woman who slept with a Roman soldier. But it's also like it's all based upon solstice, like on December twenty first. That I is what a, all of these holidays kind of. I had a conversation with my mother in law about oh dear um, <laughs> about the birth of of baby Jesus. Well, well actually, the impregnation of Mary. Uh huh. And she was, was like, I never realized that Mary and Joseph weren't married. And I was like, you know what? Never even thought about it. Never even thought about it. That literally never crossed yeah. my mind that they weren't married. Yeah. Like, cause they weren't supposed to fuck <laughs> and they probably didn't, <laughs> but it's just like, she brought it up to me randomly. Yeah. I like I don't, nothing proctored this, the, the conversation. Mm-hmm. It just, there it was. And I was just like, you know what? I never thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Maybe we just say, no, but Mary may have just been a thirsty bitch. It's just a weird I don't know. I just, I don't know. I didn't understand it. I didn't know how to respond. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'd be like, yeah, okay. I, that's that's what. Oh, okay. Was. I was like, huh. Yeah. Okay. I think it's, I think <laughs> like, it's rude that God impregnated her and they weren't married either. I was just it's very my, res, my literal response was like, huh. Never thought about it, but all right. And then just walked out. And then we just. <laughs> yeah. That was the end of it. Went on. No, I feel you. Like just said, popped out baby and some hair. It's just weird. Like. 
uh, I don't know. Like I, I am not a Christmas celebrator myself. Like the idea of Christmas. I mean, granted I don't have kids granted. Uh, but like, I like to celebrate the season, like yeah. the whole from like November through January. Like that's I a just whole love winter. Yeah. Like, like that's, I love cold weather. Uh, the cold weather's hit or miss for me, but I love it, but like, I just don't like wind. <laughs> yeah. Well, if there's wind, it sucks, but yeah. cold weather. Fine. I yeah. like it. If the wind's dead, I like nice. wearing hoodies and coats. Cause I'm fat and it covers everything up. <laughs> so I like winter. <laughs> he likes winter. I like winter. You son of a bitch. You can't change what I like. <laughs> <laughs> you never will. Anyways, I'm Cameron. <laughs> Hi. I'm, Cam- I'm Cameron. Why do you sound like a, a nervous teenager trying to ask out a girl to prom? Because I am. <laughs> Anyways, it's with the Christmas season. spirit among us. Among Is it? Us, it's past us, but... This is what it's, still, it's still a season. You know, just yeah, this it's is still just, December. This is just to the people that put the antlers in the nose on their car. Mm-hmm. I know it's a car. You can't trick me. <laughs> About the eyelashes. I know it's a car. All right. Where? You, you, you ain't going to fool me to think that it's a reindeer. Uh, Good Lord. It's a car. Damn. Well, see, I saw the movie Cars, so when I see the eyelashes, it catches me off guard sometimes. So I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just have to double check. When those- I really get freaked out when a car comes up to me and goes, ka <laughs> Yeah, you know, when the, when the car's Boom. body like bends, I'm just like, whew, smoke too much. All right. <laughs> you calm down a little bit. <laughs> when a wheel waves at me, <laughs> yeah. I get a little freaked out. No, same. <laughs> what up, guys? DK here. Uh, I've been watching a lot of The Simpsons lately. Oh, no. I love that Simpsons. Love that, that Simpsons. I love that, that Simpsons. That one Simpsons no, show. Uh, the Simpsons is great. Thank um, you, Grandma. <laughs> but uh, Simpsons has been on for a very, very, very long very time at this long point in time. time. Uh, so my fun, my fun, simple fact of the week is: uh, so if the if the if the characters of the Simpsons had aged normally, Bart would be older than Marge in the very first season. At this <laughs> Makes point, sense. Yeah. It's been, I mean, it's been what? How long has it been? Ninety. Ninety. 90 so it's been 31, 30, 31 years. years oh my god that's and so bart's long. what 10 yeah so he got to be 41 yeah didn't they do an episode where he was like where all, they were all older yeah yeah they okay. it was like it, it wasn't necessarily i don't think it was like a time traveling episode but it was an episode for like so lisa could like see how her life unfolds if she doesn't it was weird. It was like, cause she ends up marrying like Millhouse or some shit like that. And it just became like a bad, bad whole ordeal. And I remember like Marge and Homer being old and Bart being old and Maggie still didn't say Bart anything. Was, in that episode. Uh, Bart was like an alcoholic. Yeah. Wasn't he? yeah, that's what I thought. yeah. It was like every time that they would like, they were going to, they would ask Maggie a question. Fast. Yeah. There you go. But it was like in that episode, every time they ask Maggie a question, like right before she speaks, they interrupt her. So she never even saw, speaks in that episode, but no, yeah, that was, that's man. The Simpsons, such good, such good writing, such good comedy. Simpsons did it. I mean, the <laughs> fact that they've gone on this long, oh, and, yeah. like, it's still a popular show. Is oh, like, yeah. That shows you that r- the writing is like fantastic alone. Mm-hmm. He agrees. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Hey, guys. No one's going to hear that sound, by the way. Yeah, no, <laughs> no one's going to. No one's going to. So there's just a there's just a naked man looking inside the window. And he waved. He, he, he put did, a thumbs up yeah. when we said that. So he he he's he's. I don't want to say that. <laughs> Never mind. Hey guys, no, no, now you have to say it. Say what you gonna say. He was slapping his cock against the window twice to let you know that he liked the joke. That's assault, brother. Okay, you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> exactly. Right, That's why I was telling say. you. I should regret telling him to say anything. Yeah, yeah, you really should. His mind goes places that I regret places. telling him not to shut up more. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and you'll take that regret to your grave. <laughs> but anyways, shut up. Hey guys, <laughs> it's Jake here. And did you know that the lyre bird can mimic almost any sound it hears, including chainsaws? Interesting. That is very interesting. The lyre bird? Lyre bird. It's, a, it's spelled L-Y-R-E. Like a lyre. Uh, I don't like know a, if it's lyre or it'd be lyre. It's a lyre. It's like lyre an instrument. Yeah. I don't know what the instrument, but yeah. It's of like course. a harp. Yeah. Like, yeah. You didn't know that? Cool. No, I knew. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but yeah, it's a, it's a Australian species that, uh, yeah. Just uh, copies shit like car alarms and camera shutters. It'd be really annoying I to copy. I thought it was like alarms. a mockingbird. I mean, it's very similar. And God forbid uh, one bird can do a thing that another bird can do. Holy shit. Have we gone through a half hour yet? No, we've only been recording for like 20 minutes. 24. <laughs> and we Jesus. only have like five minutes worth of episodes. Jesus Christ. Stupid fucking train. Sumo. Well, 
Let me see if I can find a top I'm, ten list or something. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be drunk before that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So annoying. Come this on, happens. it's six at night. We're trying to sleep here. We're trying to podcast, bitch. I mean, it is like literally fucking pitch dark outside. Yeah. It's only six or one. Okay, well, I walked, out, can, I walked outside like seven o five. That picture since I used it. I walked outside like seven something, and it was still like dark outside with a full moon out. That's just so crazy to me that we're already at 80 plays. 81. A new episode hit 20 downloads. Still can't get our money, though. Bitch better have my money. I'm about I'm about to pay that money and go back to bus bro. How far away from are we from uh being able to actually withdraw money from Anchor? Five more dollars. I mean we can re- withdraw money now. Oh, can we? Yeah, we can cash out now. Uh, no, I, I just d- wanted to get to the full fifteen before <laughs> we did it. Use nice. Anchor's money to buy <laughs> bus bro. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Like, we could guys. we could literally just make it so that that money gets directly deposited from Anchor over to... We wouldn't make enough money to cover anything. Oh. I mean, we made the Anchor ad like what? Gotta work harder. Four months ago. Four months ago, and we're not even that $10 yet. Oh, whatever. Party pooper. It's kind of more than four months ago, yeah. honestly. <laughs> um, I just opened a beer and put it down, but I don't... Oh, there it is. Hey, there it is. I found it for you. Found it. <laughs> hey, there it is. How do you go have a top 30 list and then not number anything? <laughs> yeah, which one do you know is number one? Which one's number 30? Exactly. <laughs> How do you oh, know what order to go through? That's why, because they only number two of them. It was one and two. So you know which order. But, I'll, but no, I don't I don't know if it's like 30th. It could be the 30th, the scariest one. I don't fucking know. Why did we get six plays yesterday? Why did we? Because we're fucking popping, my guys. People- we had zero plays on the 19th. Six yesterday. Uh, I know we went like two days with zero, mm-hmm. and then it just like popped. Well, I started. <coughs> I, was, I went from not sharing it to sharing it. That might have been what did it. I don't know, man. I didn't write the algorithm. L- listeners are weird. They just. Yeah, fucking. We fucking just need people to share it. Mm-hmm. We need more people yeah. to share. Yeah, it. so many greedy people that just keep it like, to themselves. All those people that like everyone that all of your friends that follow us on yeah. on Instagram need to like Scummy. share it to their story. Uh, Renee has shared it on Facebook. Did she? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, but that's probably what got us all those plays on the first episode. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't, I don't think either one of us shared the second episode. <laughs> no, I shared it on Facebook. I, sh- I shared it on release day. Haven't shared it since release day, but I might have too. I don't remember. Hmm, I'm a little upset because I made an actual Instagram post about it and I only got like nine likes on it. The fuck? My selfie previously, I got 40 likes on. What the hell? (laughs) (laughs) It's it's all about the time you post it. Ah, true, true. Yeah. That's probably location, 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 baby. I posted at lunch, but that's the thing is like usually yeah. if I post stuff around noon, it has enough time to get caught up by the my second nuts half of the day. are cold. Okay, sorry about you. <laughs> that's a weird thing to to say, but well, I was like leaning forward and like that was the first thing that touched the chair when I like readjusted don't, don't myself. Lean forward. Just lean back, bro. Just lean back. Lean back. Lean back. I was going to be like, I'm not Fat Joe, damn it. Sorry, I beat you to the joke. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. fine. Gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> you almost got it. <laughs> man, I've been farty farty today. You nasty bitch. Gross, man. What'd you eat for din? You fuck. What'd you just eat? I haven't yeah. eaten. Oh, damn. So it's definitely the din. <laughs> yeah, somebody should my pants. I had Taco Bell last night. That's what oh, it is. That's what, yeah. that's what, that's did, what it did it today. It. Dude, they fucked my order up. Which one did you go to? One in Claremore. Uh, like oh, Main Street. How much? Yeah. yeah, sorry about you. I ordered a cheesy gordita crunch mm-hmm. uh, oh, box and a five layer burrito. 
which it comes with a five layer burrito, but I wanted another one because they're good. Because you, need, so you needed good. ten layers of burrito. Yeah, I, do. I mean honestly, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Yes, uh, they it. gave me my well, the cheesy gordita crunch was supposed to come with a cheesy gordita crunch, five layer burrito, and chips and cheese. Mm-hmm. Perp the box. They gave me the cheese, no chips. He's got a dip, baby. Disrespectful. They instead of a five layer burrito, they gave me a bean burrito with sour cream in it. Disrespectful. <laughs> and I was like. Big Ugh, this is disgusting. There was no cheese in it or anything. It's like, this is gross. Man, I kind of want to get Taco Bell on the way home now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh I should have just ordered like freaking chalupas like I always do. Chalupa. But it was I was driving, so it's hard to eat a chalupa while you drive. See, I always just I get... I can eat burritos while I drive. I just can't eat tacos and stuff while I drive. I cheesy get a... gordita crunch was very difficult and oh, yeah. spilled all down my chest. <laughs> oh, yeah, they get messy. Especially oh, yeah. if I bean burrito. <laughs> they, they get really messy. Yeah, well, yeah. We, our original plan was to go to McDonald's, but then everyone was like, ooh, let's go to Taco Bell. See, I was normally, like, I can eat a burger while driving a lot easier than a taco. Yeah, normally I just get a steak quesadilla, a, a chicken quesadilla, and then six soft and six hard shell tacos. And at that point, I could really just nibble. Holy on shit. Yeah, and gets diabetes as well. <laughs> How do you eat that much? That for like two for ta- quesadillas and 12, bur- 12 tacos? Dude, for Taco Bell, I can finish that in an hour. Like, that's nothing for me Holy, for Taco Bell. I can't... I mean, he's on the toilet for the next six hours. That's a lot, dude. No, I'm on the, I'm on the toilet for, like, ten minutes. No, that's a, really a lot of food. That's, that's it's weird. Problem. That's, like, the only restaurant I can eat that much food that's in. That's insane. I can't even eat that much. Well, you have to think, like, if you look at those tacos, those tacos are only full like that. Still. It's just 12 tacos, tacos and yeah. two quesadillas. Yeah, and those, ta- those quesadillas are tiny, too, and they're super thin. I those- eat three tacos... Like I get three, so- I get the number two regular soft tacos, uh, with Baja Blast, and then if, once I finish that, I'm like, do I even want anything else? Because like sometimes I get a quesadilla, and then I only eat like half the quesadilla, and I, I mean I eat the three tacos and half quesadilla, and then I'm like, great, now I have a wasted half quesadilla. But I'll tell you what they do have that be bussin' bussin' here lately, that uh, steak grilled cheese burrito, shit slaps, bruh. I'm so Normally what I get slaps. is the chalupa meal <laughs> mm-hmm. and then one five chalupa. beefy five layer burrito. Mm-hmm. That's and then I'm like overly stuffed at that yeah. point. I don't know how you eat that much. And that's uh well a f- like a five like a five layer burrito, like that will fill me up. But then all those tacos like just don't do anything for me. Then why do you order all that food when you could just order a five layer burrito? I have no idea. You'd save like ten bucks. <laughs> More than that. <laughs> Here's a secret for you. I'm stoned when I get Taco Bell. Here's the secret for you. That's why you're always broke. <laughs> no, because those burritos are super fucking cheap. That order that you just spit, I bet it's like a $30 order. No. I bet it is. Let's double check. I'm going to get on Taco Bell. It's probably like a that $22. That beefy five liter burrito is a $1.39. It is delicious. Yeah. I'm still just each upset so- about my each, Wendy's Each order. soft taco is about the same amount. Yeah. That's depressing. <laughs> and you ordered 12 of them. Oh no, I can't. So it tastes so good though. What's my password? One, two, three. One, two, three, fake street. <laughs> oh, oh shit! It is not, sadly. Why do we both do, why do, we both do that at the same time? I actually had to rush that because I knew you were thinking, so I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> why do we think of an address as a password? <laughs> it's too perfect. I'm just impressed that I remember that, pa- that, uh, that street name. It's as- just such a good street name. I yeah. got it from the Simpsons. Simpsons did it. <laughs> so, so memorable. Is it next to Real Street? <laughs> no, I mean, it's oh, the we Simpsons. We can't talk about it, guys. We can't yeah, talk about we it. We can't talk about it. <laughs> Simpsons did it. <laughs> Man, we've, already, we've already talked about it once. <laughs> yeah, we can't talk about can't it. Do it again. What, you mean about the Keox Stupid Podcast? We, we can't have on Spotify? <laughs> <laughs> and Apple Which one? Podcast? <laughs> and Apple Podcast? <laughs> Is that the one you're talking about? And Good Pods and Anchor FM and... Yeah, um, yeah I mean, I don't YouTube want I don't want to talk about it, but you're, YouTube, you're talking about that one, right? But Facebook. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that one you're talking about, right? Yeah, Yes. Okay, Follow just us at sure. chaotic underscore stupid underscore pod at Instagram. <laughs> but I don't want I don't want to talk about them. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Or chaotic underscore pod at on, on Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> at on Twitter. At on Twitter. <laughs> at chaotic, at underscore, chaotic pod. underscore pod. Um, I don't even Twitter. know why capital I said C, that. Capital P. Yeah. Capital C, don't even capital. know why I said that. Not even thinking about it. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Fuck D and D. It's the worst game ever. Yeah. <laughs> You should listen to Shut it. Shut up. <laughs> great. <laughs> this coming from you, yeah. the man who up until like six months ago had yeah. no like level of reference for you D&D at all. You one of us. Hey, I changed you. Leave I'm here me for alone, it. Hey, I'm having fun doing nerd stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, it has been a blast. Uh, no, our, th- our, uh, I've, I've, I've in the back of my mind thought about quitting this and just doing that. I'm just doing the de- <laughs> no, just doing that every week. Our our for- our fourth cohort, uh, our D and D cohort uh, was talking today. He was like, "Dude, I'm really glad." He's like, "He's like, I, haven't, I don't think I've said this yet, but he's like, thank you for letting me be part of, be part of the group because he's like, I really enjoy hanging out with you guys and actually playing with you guys, and it's been really really fun." It's and I was just been like, "So fun." No, for sure, it's it's cool. Like, like I hate that we wait two weeks to do it. Yeah, like I wish we would switch and just do this you, every two I weeks just, we and would, do that. Every <laughs> week. <laughs> Just want to switch the podcast. Yeah, we'll just <laughs> we'll be like fifteen weeks ahead. That's fine. <laughs> I could do all of them every other day and be happy. <sighs> if we got paid enough, fuck yeah, I would. If I got paid enough, I just quit my job. Just yeah, like, all right, we're gonna just... record three days a week, boys. <laughs> Dude, for real in a legit studio, fuck yeah, I would. Not even this studio. Just get it. Actually, yeah, honestly, just, just get it. Get some heat in here. Get some heat. Get some insulation up. <laughs> We'll be set. I mean, really, that's the only thing. Like, I'm gonna bring, uh, I'm gonna bring a couple blankets over for the next sesh that we can hang up and leave hung up to over the windows, over the windows, over the door stuff. to like actually. I mean, it won't be like super insulation, insulation but it'll, it'll still give be you. Insulation. It'll be yeah. yeah. It'll give you some dead air that will actually hold some heat in the room. A little well, bit not better. only that, but it'll also be like kind of like having the padding yep. up, like for sound too. Mm-hmm. So. so it'll it'll deaden sound in here a little bit as well, which would be good. But you know, I mean, also, funny, we're not as like, as we were before we used compressor mics, mm-hmm. which are probably what we need to use all the time because yeah. me included have a hard time standing right in front of the mic. Oh, yeah, we all um, do it. Compressor mics don't have to do that. Mm-hmm. And but we were having so much echo before. But I also wasn't looking to make sure all the wavelengths linked yeah. up before <laughs> too either. So we, if we did that, it probably would sound fine. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's why we started I mean, implementing the clap, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we get a four channel, then we'll be sad. Then we'll, we'll be fine. Fucking like, gravy. We could use. That's what God said when too many people were fucking. I must implement the clap. <laughs> Stop this fucking at once. And at that point, I will v- be very adamant about everyone using headphones. Yeah. Because I want to make sure everyone knows that they're right in front of the mic mm-hmm. because you'll hear it. <laughs> you hear that you're that you're sounding way way over there, there yep rather than right here no i think i think last week or i think saturday we did pretty good no of course yeah i mean i mean better than what we did the yeah. previous the previous session yeah but no like i said it's this I mean, this this podcasting has been a very learning experience oh yeah no like, and that, and learning that's, how to do everything as far as recording editing dude i just want to brag on your editing man like I don't, but I'll listen to him. Do no, it. like when, like, like, cause I, I had listened to episodes before I came on the pod mm. and I was just like, this is good. The, I mean, it's funny content wise. It was, yeah, but funny, just but. the sound was just, but in the past seven, seven months, eight months, just like your editing has become like leaps and leaps and Dude, bounds. I research week after week uh-huh. on how to make the best sound possible and I'm still not to the best sound possible, but, but I think we're, I've been doing some research recently uh-huh. and I haven't, I just haven't had an episode to edit yet. Yeah. And I think I know how to make it the best. I think I know how to make it the best. <laughs> yeah. There have even been reports of like your neighbors complaining about the kids yelling, daddy, daddy, we miss you. But you're just like, shut up. I'm, re- I'm editing my D and D podcast. And he's just sitting there locked in a room for days and days yep, trying to make to, it perfect. To, I've been, it's really hard to explain to the police. It is. It really is. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta I do. I wonder where the bruises came from, officer. <laughs> I gotta explain this. They fell like, down my one story you stairs. listen to the audio, you know it was for a good cause. Yeah. <laughs> Truth. No, Your it's... Honor, I play d and <laughs> <laughs> No, that's Exonerated. Like, like low-key, I'm always like, I'm always worried I'm gonna get pulled over for one, but like on the way home from D&D at like one in the morning, how yeah. am I gonna explain this? Yo, I've been playing D&D for the past five hours. I'm not fucked up. <laughs> My I'm eyes just are just tired. tired. <laughs> yeah, okay. D and D, huh? <laughs> Fucking nerd. <laughs> That's when you give him the link. Yeah, here it is, bro. Check it out. Check it out, bro. Check it out. This you play D <laughs> No, that's been my only immediate ticket. Yeah, I, I've somewhat arrested. Feel, I somewhat <laughs> so feel bad for Luke because I miss him. I mean, yeah, he adds a certain comedy uh-huh. that. I didn't know we were missing uh-huh. until we started this podcast, until we started the D and D podcast. But also 
I feel bad for him that he has to wait so long <laughs> until he actually hears character. Hear his character. Into the- <laughs> yeah, into it. I mean, it'll be what? It's what? Oh, it's, it's this week. week. It's this week. It's not even a week away now. Yeah, it's, it's just this like, it's like it, this it, week. This week. It's in three, four days. He'll get to hear it. But at the same time, yeah, no, he's been talking about it. He's like, man, I'm just, he's just like, I'm ready to get to episode three. And I'm like, trust me. It, it's like, <sighs> yeah. but that's the other thing is like, episode one was good. Audio quality is good. Editing was good. Episode two, better than episode one. Episode three, way better, better than episode like two and leaps one. Leaps and bounds better than episode two. So I'm so excited for to get to episode four. <laughs> fucking good. Oh my God. Episode five? <laughs> uh, we'll get there. <laughs> we haven't edited it yet. But... <laughs> we, episode five, like content wise, what we recorded oh, for it. Fantastic. I'm so excited. I'm so fucking. I am hoping that might be our best episode, like as of what we've made so far. But that's up to you <laughs> and how long you stay locked away from your family now, <laughs> to I make mean, sure this episode's okay, good. So God damn it. <laughs> this stay in the basement. Episode five is going to be, well, I'll just put it this way. It'll be recorded the day that episode three gets released. Yeah. Because that's going to be the first day I have a chance to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll probably do five and six. Thursday and Friday. Yeah. Yeah. What a sellout not like doing it on his vacation. Like, no. <laughs> I was still doing it on my vacation, by the way, because my vacation is still Thursday and that Thursday and Friday. Cause I'm off that Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And then we'll be recording the seven, hopefully seven and eight on new year's day. Oh fuck. Maybe, 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 maybe. your boy has plans. New Year's see we'll see how that I, could. I don't, Listen, but I'm saying maybe because other people have plans. You don't have to be here until like six o'clock. I might be hungover all day. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> you know how hangovers work now. I mean, we, we could try to do Sunday night. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Listen, I have uh, a four day weekend coming up this week and next week. So. I have a five day weekend coming up and then another four day weekend right after that. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> We'll feel, like I have a four day next weekend. I'm off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday next weekend because I requested some time off. But I'll, I'll have I've got a couple more days I got to squeeze in before January 28th. Otherwise, I lose vacation time. Speaking about is bullshit. Speaking about squeezing in days. Remember how I told you like that appointment I was supposed to have that was going to take like months and months to get scheduled. Like they squeezed me into like get me into December. Sure. Oh. Yes. Well, they they uh, they rescheduled it without telling me. Nice. Yeah. So did you go? Or are you going? I'm still going. It's just later than it was supposed to be, and they didn't tell me whatsoever. I would appreciate a phone call, an email, a text how, message. How did you find out? Found out because I just checked my appointments. Because mm. I didn't remember. Responsible? That's weird. Well, no, it's just I'm so nervous about missing appointments. <laughs> I'm very nervous about missing missing appointments. So if I know an appointment's coming up like within like 15 Wait, days. How do you- is it like a, a portal or like a... No, there's a, there's okay. a portal. There's a VA portal to do it. You have to have a premium account to do it, though. <laughs> That's some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, imagine that. VA does that. The VA makes the you The veteran pay. affairs, yeah. <laughs> the makes, VA makes you pay extra money to make sure you to check don't on, miss your appointments. Uh, I believe it's... it's um Yeah, it's electronical appointments. It's um checking on pharmaceuticals and like test results and everything. If you don't pay for, if you get the basic plan, then it's just like, oh, well, the doctor will call you and they'll tell you you have cancer to your face. Yeah, that's, a, that's a BS, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There Here's a, here, pay extra money so that way you don't miss the appointment that we didn't tell you we rescheduled. <laughs> that's some bullshit, dude. Oh, yeah, no. they're That's some bullshit. They're, they're some fun people. They're they're a rowdy bunch. I, I was making the I was making a joke of one of my friends was like you should just call on a bomb threat and I was like Whoa. If, <laughs> I, I listen I, I wouldn't do that well I, I I won but I was like if I did that they'd only be like sir please <laughs> <laughs> just well, do it <laughs> just kill us all we'll reschedule that without till it's yeah. <laughs> well sir we we'll, need you to do that on a Thursday not yeah. not a Wednesday sir we'll be able to fit you in on the thirty first when no one's going to be here but you see it's going to be a real tight schedule. But yeah, they're. I mean, everything they do is very melancholy. When I hear very calm. The VA, I'm just like, that just sounds like a giant shit show that I'm glad I'm not a part of. Yeah, but I mean, you'd get this. You'd get similar shit shows if you just went to a hospital as well. It's just I'm paying less money for this one. <laughs> actually, actually, I'm not paying any money for this one. This one's I actually just, free. I don't go to hospitals. I have a lot of issues. <laughs> I mean, I probably do too. I just don't. 
You just don't. I just don't go to the doctor. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I haven't had insurance until now, so. I'm still unaware of what insurance I do have because the VA is making it very difficult. I've had apparently. To be fair, I'm unsure of what insurance I have as well. I apparently I signed up for insurance through work. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with it. Yeah, and I have a. I've had VA health insurance according to the um, the app since October of 2020. But I mean, I've never gotten my VHIC for it, proving that like because that's supposed to be the proof of health insurance that they're yeah. supposed to send you right after, and I haven't received it. Hmm. I've called them because like I st- like because you have to get like a picture scheduled and everything, and they still haven't gone back to me on that. You know, in a year, tried, but they're just apparently it's just everything's too busy to be filled. I mean, the, the couple times I have gone to the VA, there has been employees just, like, sweating next to me. And it's just because, like, just been running around. It's so, like, we just don't have anyone here. So they're just, like, sprinting in and out of elevators and just pushing over old ladies. It's really crazy over there. Speaking of that, did I, oh, yeah, I didn't get to talk to you guys. Did I get to talk to you guys about uh, watching videos of the German police pushing people down during uh, <laughs> during a uh, quarantine? It was very funny to watch. I did not watch. There was a there was two videos I watched. Uh, I think it was like, oh, yeah, because we didn't do last week's episode, so it was it was before last week's episode was supposed to be recorded. I was going to talk about it, but there was uh, two videos I was watching where one of them they were like pushing people out of a park because they were like it's quarantine, you can't be in the park. Well, this elderly couple, I guess, were just moving too slow, so they take down the elderly man and they get like four guys on him. Like, just holding him down, and they have, like, six or seven other guys just, like, in a square around him, just defending him. And then they've, like, this old lady was just walking away, and this dude just grabs her by the arm and starts, like, shoving her. And she, like, pushes him pushes him off, and then she just walks forward. The camera pans back over to the old guy, pans back over to her. She is on the ground hard. <laughs> they just took her down. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just the American police force that it's brutalizes r- old people. No, and also the, ger- <laughs> the German police really have a reputation of it, honestly. <laughs> there, was a, there was another video of an, oh, no. of an old lady glad just walking. we set that precedent, though. <laughs> there was, They're like, oh, they can do it? Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> there, was, there was an elderly woman just walking past, like, just a row of police. One of the police officers just fucking pepper sprays her in both eyes. <laughs> I shouldn't have been like, laughing, listen, but I really was. We watched those Americans do it. Let's have fun. No, no, no. They it. started it before America was even a that's, fucking thing. That's true. The, uh, the Germany brutality has been Germany is a thing England. for a long time. Oh yeah. I also before. I also heard the really crazy news that uh, uh for the uh the vaccine passport, they're just gonna put the uh, Star of David on people's wrists as they walk through Germany just to make sure they've been vaccinated. That seems a bit fucking of a reach, honestly. <laughs> how true well, they, they is said that? it has. They said it's never failed. That doesn't. How true is I this? I feel like story? the validity behind. No, that, that was is- a, that last one was a complete lie. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. And for the kids, they're gonna put like stars and dinosaurs on it. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. This doesn't. This seems like. Uh, you're gonna have to put you're gonna have to put a fake news art like headline in the front of this. No, no, <laughs> the, the old ladies. That was a real. No, that, that actually happened. No, yeah, no, the, those that. videos were funny. It's fine, but the last one, <laughs> last one was edgy. I'll admit I was laughing at them, but I was just like, Jesus Christ, these old ladies, the poor women. It's ridiculous. But just in a way, it's just like when you're so detached and watching it in a video, and just seeing an old lady just, tss, tss, and then she's just like. Oh! If it was like a 25 year old acting like an idiot, I would laugh my ass off. Oh, yeah. Deserved it. No, it's just an old lady just walking across these yeah, police I, officers. I feel and they're bad. just like, you know what? I'm about to fuck you. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I don't. I hate. I really despise when people of power abuse that power. Especially in like full body armor and a riot shield. Yeah, like, what's this old lady going to do to you? Come She's, on. She even was on she, a walker. Even if she showed some kind of like resilience to your authority what the fuck is she gonna do to she you? was hunched on a walker yeah. respect my authority <laughs> that's all i can think of you damn oh, fucking officers. cartman's man yeah fucking cartman south park did it south park <laughs> fucking did it <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i thought this was america well be no, like it's I- germany but it's the same same principle same principle with the law enforcement honestly yeah we just haven't gone that far yet no we have we're avoiding the stars at this point are we we're close. We're real close We're just right now. Not I think. physically doing the stars, but like, are we? 
really avoiding the stars. I mean, we're we're getting to the point where it's just like every little thing's just like an extreme one into the other, so we might be near where everyone's just like, you know what? Them. <laughs> He might just That's take out. That's kind of where we're at already. No, it hasn't re- has not reached, you know, Nazi levels. When it comes to political parties, yeah, it's kind of Nazi level. Well, I, I mean, not as far as gas chambers, but well, like. I think the, the, the Nazi part where it came from was just extreme poverty. And then one guy just gave an answer to the extreme poverty and the people literally starving on the streets. Where it's just like one guy, one guy on cocaine and meth and everything. It's just like I have an answer, and everyone's just like, "Thank God, someone has an answer to this," because everyone was just, you know, starving and having to get rid of their family members. Yeah. And dogs were eating corpses, and you know, fun times, fun times in Germany around yeah. that time. You Great know? Depression in Germany, you could leave. It was a, horrible. You could leave a basket full of like German francs on the side of the road. People would dump it over. Like this is hype. This is a this is allegory. This is, but it was like money had no worth. Like you could leave yeah. like have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, and have it in a basket, and people would dump the money out and just take the basket. Like you would, they were getting paid like twice a day because of how fucked up the inflation. Like yeah. at one point in the day, money would be worth so much. The next point in the day, and so people were getting paid like twice a day from their job. It's like it was coin. It was terrible. It was a, it was a shit time. Yeah. We want to we before we go on break. Uh-huh. I want to share a little fun fact I heard today. Uh-oh. Okay. The last surviving dog was from Michael saying. Vick's dog fighting <laughs> ring. Fun fact has now died at age fifteen. That's like that's a fun fact. Well, I mean that's a full dog life. Uh, that is a yeah. full dog life. Yeah, that's actually I'm better saying. than a lot of dogs. <laughs> so I mean, he lived a full life. He lived a full dog life. Just not, not, not under the guise of Michael Vick anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking Michael Vick. <laughs> I used to be such a Michael Vick fanboy, too. Like, I thought he you was such a great player. Son, huh? it, it was shared on a football page, uh-huh. and people were like, he served his time. Why the fuck is this still a story? Because he still thought it was okay to be, like... Well, yeah, but, I mean, people have done some crazy shit. He well, I mean, served it, his time. He lost $100 million. Yeah. And he served 21 months in prison for it. I think if anyone loses... He served his time and he never did it again. Like, it seems like he learned his lesson. Well, the question the question is, did he not do it again because he couldn't or because he didn't want to? Either way. We'll answer that after break. <laughs> Welcome back from the break. Hey, it was a break. But yeah, no, like, uh, really all you got to do to avoid being a criminal after you've been a criminal is just move to Florida, man. Yeah. That's all you got to do. to Florida. That's what they all do. That's what my plan is. That's where America goes to die. Yeah. <laughs> Florida sucks. Florida's yeah, going to die soon. Like, the beaches are nice, but like... The people suck. Everything else is just like... Why do you oh, want to go to We've already talked should... about Florida. We can't talk about Florida again. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I remember because we okay, talked about the, uh, the the tower that was under like a stress test that killed some pedestrians in Florida. No, it was, yeah, it was, it was the, the pedestrian bridge. Yeah, pedestrian bridge. That no, collapsed yeah. and fell yeah. on some cars. And killed some people, yeah. Have we talked about Maryland before? I don't think so. The state of Maryland? Yeah. Oh, they meant like Maryland. Can't say we've ever talked something. about the state of Maryland. We could. Well, two zebras who escaped from a Maryland farm are back after months on the run. I, ha, repeat that? What? How? Two zebras who escaped from a Maryland farm are back after months on the run. Why are two zebras in Maryland? That seems cold for zebras. At a farm. Oh, at a farm. At a farm. farm. That's what I'm, yeah. What are you? They escaped in Uh mid-August. Isn't Maryland cold? I mean, it gets cold. Yeah. Zebras are. But there's horses still there. I mean, they're they're horses. Oh, but they're like African horses. Well, it's because they, they still have the same fur. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> it's just like the zebras should be adapted to like not having like dealing with like warm like the same fur. they should never have to deal with cold. I mean, often. Well, that's what you, that's where man comes in and moves shit around. It's like you got camels up there. I bet. I bet there's camels in Maryland. Oh, probably. There's camels here and alpacas. Yeah, there are camels, camels here. here. Mm-hmm. So, in I've a statement them. obtained by NPR, the Prince George's County MD. Department of the Environment says that the roaming zebras returned sometime last week, but officials have no detail, gave no details on how and when the recovery took place. The officials say neither the United States Department of Agriculture nor the Prince George's County Animal Services were involved in the return of the zebras. Linda Lowe, spokesman for the Prince George's County uh, (coughs) Department of Environment, said county officials will continue their ongoing investigation and will take appropriate legal action regarding Alleged violations by the zebra's owner. 
Oh, no. In they October, had zebra violations. In October, Jerry Hawley, the owner of the zebras, was charged with three counts of animal cruelty after one of three zebras had escaped. <laughs> that had escaped was reported to have dis- been discovered dead in a snare trap. But, oh. yeah. How is he the one at fault for the zebra? What if he set up the snare trap? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, the plot thickens. Fuck you. I was going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, the owner of an exotic animal breeding business in Upper Marlboro, uh, Maryland, about 20 miles southeast of Washington, D.C., is accused of inflicting and authorizing unnecessary suffering or pain on a zebra. Did not know that was a charge. <laughs> I mean, it's animal, animal, cru- am- I know, animal. But it's just, it's so weird to hear about a zebra because, like, I mean, it'd be the same. It's same zebra. Like I said, it'd be the same thing with like a horse or a, any other like livestock style animal. But Holly was also charged with not providing adequate shelter or food. Oh. The zebra that died was found on private property in Upper Marlboro on September 16th, according to Lauren Moses, spokesperson, spokesperson of the Maryland Natural Resources Police. According to Moses, sufficient officers arrived at the property and discovered in a snare trap near a field a dead zebra, which officials believed was one of the zebras that had been on the loose. I'd hope so because how many loose zebras we got? Yeah, that's so weird. Like, imagine, imagine you're in Maryland, like doing a hike, and you just finished smoking a fat ass blunt. And you're just on the trail, and you're all like, of a sudden, like zebras. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Just zebras? <laughs> Damn, that's good. That's it's like Harold and Kumar. Exactly. Harold and Kumar when they hop on the cougar. <laughs> to be like, what the, the bobcat? Fuck? That'd be that would. I'm just so confused. Like, four months these zebras have been out. Yeah. I mean, zebras, like, how does zebras, that's not their, the zebra camouflage doesn't work in the trees? No, no, they're very, uh, very obvious. That's weird, man. So an investigation found that inspections of Holly's property in Maryland and Florida had repeatedly turned up inadequate fencing. Uh, gotta have proper zebra fencing. (laughs) (laughs) That's where, that's where many fail. (laughs) If you're going to farm zebra zebra fence. In 2013, Holly was fined more than $12,000 by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for violations of the Animal Welfare Act, including for including for dangerous animal enclosures. Mm. After the three zebras escaped from Holly's legally owned herd on October 20 or on August 26th, uh, residents across the Washington D.C. suburb posted photos and videos of their sightings. So they did get seen. They did get witnessed. No well, yeah, they're zebras. They don't have camouflage. I mean, exactly. Like, I mean, I'm just surprised no one just like threw a lasso at these fucking zebras. And, like, hey, I got the zebra. They probably ran. <laughs> Dude, zebras make the weirdest fucking noises. I'm not going to try and replicate zebra noises. You can go ahead and pull that one up, though, if you want to. It's They, they make a weird noise. They like sound like, I don't know. It's weird. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can get a plan. Oh, come on, hit play. Yeah. They sound like coyotes. Sounds like a pack of hyenas or coyotes, yeah. That's a weird sound. Yeah, they sound like coyotes. They don't. It's like a goose fighting a dog. (laughs) God, having a herd of zebras must be fucking annoying. Uh, yeah, that, I would hate that. <laughs> just I, I hated that for that thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah, imagine being in person like just a pack of like, zebras surround you. Own, you know what? I kind of I kind of get why he let three yeah. zebras go. Now he's like, you know what? <laughs> zebras. Fuck it, I'll just cut the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sick of these guys waking me up in the middle of the night. Well, they probably do the same thing that horses do, where they just like gnaw on random shit. So they probably like started damaging property. Was like, you know what? You want out of the fence? Get out of the f- get out of the fence. Get out of there. Get out. Listen, as an owner of four guinea pigs, I understand yeah. the annoyance of animal sounds. Listen, chicken nuggets, they won't know the difference. I think they would. Mm-mm. Have you ever had, eaten a guinea pig? I don't know if I want to eat a guinea pig. I don't, I don't know if I want to answer that question. I don't feel like I, it would ever necessarily be necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we're in some like weird post-apocalyptic yeah, situation. Yeah, then I'd eat them, yeah. But even then, I don't know if I would. They're rodents. Or Sunday, rodents I'm hungry for chicken yeah, nuggets. are nasty. Oh yeah, they probably don't. They probably have like very, very little muscle. They yeah, they're yeah, all fur. They're, they're yeah. fat fucks. Yeah, they're just fur. Oh, well, they're and they are fat. They are very fat. Ours are fat. Yeah, at least because yeah. they can only walk around in like all right seven so feet of space. Have we talked about Canada? I'm sure. I mean, we've point. talked about Canada, have we? But we can talk about Canada again, baby. Yeah. Well, Canada taps into strategic reserves to deal with massive shortage of maple syrup. 
Canada short on maple syrup. What in the fuck is the world coming to? Global, yeah. global warming's real. <laughs> This proves it. Well, high gas prices have pushed President Biden to tap into the U.S. Uh, strategic oil reserves. America's neighbor to the north is also dealing with a shortage of another so-called liquid gold. The Canadian group uh, Quebec Maple Syrup Producers. <laughs> you mean Quebec? <laughs> Up there in Quebec. Their name's the, the Quebec Maple Syrup Producers. <laughs> yeah. Another you know their place? It's just such a weird name to have. Like that's what they do. They produce maple yeah. syrup well, in Quebec. Very, <laughs> they want to be very the clear. Name pretty much told me <laughs> exactly. what I needed to know. Like, yeah, I have are a thousand truths. Uh, yeah. Well, they recently announced that it was releasing about fifty million pounds of its strategic maple syrup reserves. Uh, it's about half of its Strate- total stockpile. Do you say oh, strategic? Wow. Yeah, strategic. They, they store it like we store, store oil. It. Yeah, and they only have about fifty million pounds left. Because hmm. that was half of their stockpile. I wonder what what led to such a was it probably lack of is it is it a does it say anything about it being like a nature cause thing or just a lack of people um, working? Maple it as syrup well? is made from the sap from maple trees, which is traditionally harvested by installing a metal tap into the tree's <laughs> trunk. Thunk it. The modern <laughs> sap harvesting typically involves a system of plastic tubing and vacuums to collect the sap from multiple trees to a central location where it can be fe- refined into syrup. Sucking off this these trees. This is a seasonal process, though, as maple sap can only be harvested in specific weather conditions. Mm-hmm. So this year's short and warm spring resulted in uncharacteri- uh. uncharacteristically low yield of fruit. Yep. Oh, my God. That. We're going to kill off maple syrup, thus killing Canada. We're going to kill. We're- I don't think I would kill Canada. We're going to kill Canada. I would kill what this. Canada's known for. Their maple syrup. Yeah. Which is basically killing Canada. I th- half of those workers will kill themselves because they can't make maple syrup. Next is going to be the Toronto Raptors. And then mm. after that, just... Uh, yeah. I mean, they'll, <laughs> yeah, they'll lose half of their knowledge because they'll they'll lose maple syrup. They only sure know Raptors about hockey. Dead. The yeah. Toronto Raptors. The Toronto Raptors. That's the, the basketball team. I mean, they're still, that's still Raptors. Raptors. The basketball just, team. Actually, if you want to get technical, Raptors aren't dead because we still have Raptor-style birds. That is true. Birds Chickens. that fall under the Raptor name yeah. Did you know a, ra- a velociraptor wasn't much bigger than a chicken was yeah they weren't huge they weren't like the Jurassic six Park yeah they really, really just kind of went on the whole yeah. monster so they monster weren't ca- so they weren't as big and ver- i mean they were still ver- no, they were super ferocious but they were only about the size of like and a they were goose supposedly had feathers yeah well yeah i heard that like well, one of the theories is that like most dinosaurs yeah, had, had feathers, feathers. They, they don't maintain yeah. but like they, there have been was supposed to, supposedly was covered in fur yeah uh, was, I'd still more say feathers like the more like down. I've played Monster Hunter. I like their idea. Of but it. Uh, but no, they uh, it was I think it was last week they found. An, I mean, I've, there's been several instances of finding like uh, dinosaur tail specimens in amber that have feathers. But there was another one pulled out like last week. I got a update on one. And well, I mean, it makes sense. Like These if you think about pulling out the especially the predatory mm-hmm. um, dinosaurs, the way their feet are. Mm-hmm. Designed is a lot like, like a, a chicken. bird. Yeah, they're very, foot. they're very, very, very. Three I mean, toes. I, I mean, that's why, like claws. I said, that's why we say that. Usually, the heel claw means it's like it's like something similar to a bird. Yeah, but no, yeah, that's why we very relate avian. dinosaurs mm-hmm. to birds as much as we do. But, what about but then you like, have the pterodactyl, and it just had like skin flaps as wings. Yeah, and was, what if we found out that everything? A bird. <laughs> <laughs> what if we found out that everything had like just smooth skin, and then they eventually adapted feathers? Maybe that was a future thing. Maybe we're wrong. I just want to know again. what we consider the brontosaurus. Like, that's not the biggest chicken in the world. Because their feet are totally different. Mm-hmm. Well, they their probably feet are look more like elephants. I don't so. know. They might look how they look. It's really just a snake that ate an elephant, and that's why you got brontosaurus. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, get its it. hooves just popped out. I get it. I see it. Right? I see it. I, I, I close my eyes. A big, it. That's a big snake. <laughs> the same, I mean, that was thing. Everything was big in Every, uh, that point in time. Too yeah. much oxygen in the atmosphere. Now, yeah. here's a place we've never Played talked about because, well, I don't know why because. But, we just <laughs> but we've just never talked about it. Three dead, hundreds injured after storms roused scorpions in Egypt. I think you literally told us this a couple weeks ago. Nope, never did. I, rem- I, I never literally, re- I literally remember. never talked about Egypt. You have. Nope, I, never. We talked about scorpions at one point, yeah, but yes, it's because we were talking sure about camel Egypt. spiders, Egypt. but it wasn't It wasn't this one. I don't think it was this one. Mm, we talked about I, like the world's largest spider. No, no. We talked about like something erupting, a bunch of scorpions coming out. My anus? <laughs> that is the worst <laughs> movie of mummy I've ever seen. <laughs> It's just the mummy just gapes and there's just fucking scorpions coming out of his anus. 
That would be both painful it, and it's terrifying. It's just like in the sandstorm <laughs> scene where the mouth opens up in the sandstorm, but it's his, it's his asshole. So three people are dead and hundreds are injured after inclement weather roused hordes of venomous scorpions out of their hiding places into streets and homes. It sounds exactly like what you talked about a, couple, like, weeks, like a month ago. This story came out November 14th, 2021. We'll have to, Here's gonna the have thing to is I haven't listened to our that. podcast, yeah. like our, our regular podcast in yeah. so long that I can't remember it, it, what it we talked about. It could very much likely be between then. <laughs> I mean, it would have to be within the last couple weeks. Yeah. Like two weeks ago. Yeah. And I don't think I did. I don't think you I know about You don't think. I don't but think I, 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 I greatly remember. I, <laughs> I would, greatly, I would remember greatly remember Egypt. Mm, All right. I don't think you would. Hey, man, I'm here for it. Just talk about it. <laughs> Vicious rain, dust storms of snow in the southern city of Aswan last week drove out. Well, it says last week, but this is November 14th. <laughs> drove out scorpions as well as snakes. A government run Egyptian newspaper reports three people have died from scorpion stings and 450 people have been injured by the stings thus far. That's a lot of scorpion stings. That's a lot of stingers. Those who have been injured are being treated with anti venom in hospitals as well as in medical centers that are located in more remote areas, according to. Al Ahram health officials have even called in doctors who are on vacation to help treat the influx of patients. Hmm. And I definitely know I haven't talked about it because I would have remembered Ah Ahram. Ahram. I can't even pronounce it. That's how I know I haven't <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> so boom. Uh, I vaguely remember some scorpion talk. I how do. Sure I, talk about scorpions? I, I very much remember something in Egypt of scorpions coming out uh, and the number of 400 and something. It was probably Australia. It was not Australia. I don't think it was Egypt. I, it was Egypt. I, I assure it. Oh, man. That, yeah. You assure it? I assure it. I'm telling you 100%. If you look back in the episodes, we def you definitely told that same story. I definitely I, rem I remember the number of 450 something. I definitely did not. We're going to go back and listen right now. We're going to listen to all of our, yep, our entire content yep. that we've made in the past six months. <laughs> Every episode. You'll have to. Well, there's only two episodes that would have came out after November 14th. Three episodes. Because I know I definitely didn't talk about it in the last episode. Yeah. So there's three episodes. Okay. One of, the, one of them I was not a part of, so I know we didn't talk about it. So at least yep. two episodes. So it's probably not the one before that one, but the one before that one, I'm pretty sure. So either the one that is titled The Sexy is Implied or the one titled Metaverse. Yeah, no, like Eagles, like they, they, inter they literally... <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to listen to it, apparently. That's at the end, because all of we always do the news at the end. Ish. Ish. Uh, area. The endish area. Speaking of the end, what are we said at time-wise? <laughs> I would say we probably could just take a break for this. That's 15 for this segment. Okay. We were at... Like 45 for the other one. Cut out like 10 for that. For the Probably trans. more than 10. Uh, I think a lot of it's we can still keep. Not too bad. What? <laughs> Mount Isa. I don't even remember that conversation. That was, I was talking about, yeah, that the Mount Isa was the mountain yeah. that was near it. That's why I was like, that's why I said Mount Isa. <clears throat> that's about kangaroos. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it was on the roof of a home in Mount Isa. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where we were talking about. There's uh, three news articles in each episode, so there should be three, two more after that one. Still kangaroo. Still kangaroo. I think he's going to be very disappointed at the end of this. What? Because I know I haven't talked about this. You've definitely talked about this. I don't know if it was this episode, because I'm so bad with my time, but I very much remember the Egypt episode. I don't know. The fans will figure it out. The Egypt episode? The Egypt episode. We did a whole episode on Egypt. There's a whole episode. <laughs> I don't think we've ever talked about Egypt before this entire show. 
we should make start making transcripts of the episodes. <laughs> that way we could just be well, like Egypt search. <laughs> and I can just turn I'm turned on uh captions. That doesn't solve the searching it. Though. Yeah, we have to find no, it quickly. That, that means I don't have to listen. I can kind of just look for the word Egypt. I really don't think I talked about awesome. Egypt ever. Pasta. Holding me high. Someone's drooling. Another possum. Someone's laughing. Another possum. Dried pet food and an officer relocating a possum. Why am I doing this right now? Like, yeah, I don't know. You're the one who, the who was so consent or so content on doing it. Well, no, because you you said here we'll just listen to it now. So I was like, all right, let me see if I can find it. No, well, I said I guess we're listening to it yeah, now because you started playing. No, yeah. it was before that when you pulled out your phone. You're like, well, it might be sexy implied. Yeah, but I wasn't gonna listen to it. All right, let's go. That seems insane. <laughs> I don't want to backtrack old uh, podcast episodes on this pod. <laughs> and that's really just a metaverse. A, I mean, that's just like the creation of a best of is just like searching through the episode. You get to listen to yeah, That's a lot harder than you think it is. I mean, it's not, I've, I've done it before. It's, I'm not saying it's not hard. It's not just not harder than I think it is. I know it's, how hard it is. it's just very time consuming. It's very much time consuming, especially if you don't like, if you're not a professional editor that like knows to like make pre notes and like save clips that are already like, Oh yeah, I like that. I know what I plan to yeah, do. Yeah, I don't have enough storage on my computer to do all that. Well, shit. it's also that, that that takes like someone having like knowledge to know like to plan before that and what we plan to someone, do in the future. That being someone's job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's someone who gets paid a lot of money an hour to do yeah, it. Yeah, someone who has time. Yeah. I don't. I'm not one of those people. No, none of us are. <laughs> We're all busy men. Yeah, I do two pod fucking podcasts. What yeah. are you talking? I can't. I have no time. Yeah, no I time. No time. I have zero time in my life. <laughs> two podcasts and I have a girlfriend. Jeez. Can't do Two podcasts, three kids, and a wife. Jeez, I don't have time. I know, right? The struggle is real. I too have no time. I probably have some of those things. You don't have any of those things. That we yeah, I don't think you have any podcasts. of those things. Uh, I'm sure I have something. <laughs> yeah, see, podcasts. I have something. Do you have yes, a, other than two podcasts, it's yeah. like that's what yeah, he yeah. said. Yeah, it's a lot of work. You don't have anything other it's than a lot those of two work. podcasts. I, I contemplate my life a lot. Sit staring at a wall. That sounds wall like a personal time. problem, my guy. Uh, I never said it wasn't. Sounds like a sad problem. <laughs> never said it wasn't. <laughs> Porque no las dos. Personal sad problem. Can I get a sad sheesh in the chat? No. Sheesh. 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 I'm my sad sheesh. <laughs> my sad sheesh. My sad sheesh. I shall not give you another. Everybody gets one. <laughs> my dying breath. family guy did it. Family guy did it. <laughs> family guy did everything. That's not fair. God damn it. I didn't do everything. Everything. No, no, I was thinking of Simpsons. So, Simpsons did everything. Family guy just copied them. <laughs> yes and no. They've had original. Have you thought about it this way? They've had some original. So, uh oh, Homer. Wait. Homer could totally fuck Meg or not Meg. Uh, <laughs> Lois. Lois. Homer could totally fuck Lois. Easy. Peter has no shot with Marge. Ever. No. Ever. Mm -mm. Like, yeah, but Homer Homer could bag Lois, but Peter could not bag Marge. I mean, yeah, Lo I think Lois canonically had cheated in the show before, anyways. <laughs> I'm, just yeah, well, I'm, saying, I'm just saying character wise. I'm saying I'm just saying character wise, like Peter yeah, Peter Marge, Griffin would never in Marge a million would never years have go for Peter. Yeah. yeah. But Lois, I think under the right circumstances, oh Homer and Lois could really, really, uh, really, really tie one on. Who did Lois cheat on Peter with? Oh, I'm trying to remember who. And why'd she get back with him? <laughs> Peter's such a <laughs> shitty husband and person. You know, I mean, it, let's be let's be real here. He's a <laughs> shitty person and husband. Like, it's still, I don't know why. One of my favorite moments of Family Guy is just when he's at like the feminist camp. And he was trying to like he, he had just got he didn't get caught, but he had dipped a woman's hand into like a tub of water and made everyone pee themselves. And then they were, they were asking, like, sir, what's your name? When he was at breakfast, and he's like, uh, like, uh, pee. pee. He looks like a pee, pee. Someone's crying, tear. And then just a fucking griffin flying. He's like, <laughs> griffin, Peter Griffin, damn it. <laughs> My favorite moment of Family Guy was uh, the, the whenever they're at the mansion, the castle mansion, wherever it is, that, like, everyone was getting killed off. 
Mm, over my head on that one. And uh, they're trying to leave, and the bridge gives out, and like the car like goes halfway over, and Lois is like, Peter, put it in reverse, put it in reverse. He's like, no, Lois, I thought I would just drive forward. That's what I thought would be a good idea. <laughs> Those are the best moments of Family Guy, where Peter's just a dude, like, answering like a dude in should. All honesty, like, like, we say Peter's a bad person and husband, but Lois isn't much better. They're, it's they're the most absurd versions of human beings they yeah. can be. Is like you're not supposed to really like any of them. Or also wouldn't be a TV show. Truth. But like Meg's not like a, I mean, Meg's like an extreme version of like a, a depressed kid. Meg just gets shit on. I really yeah. think that's mainly it. Like she's a weirdo, but she just gets shit on yeah. so much that it's gonna like, probably weirdo because she gets shit on. If she was a real person. Yeah, but uh, I, mean, I don't know. Voice Fucking Family Guy. Person. It is, and she's probably. I mean, she's a weirdo too. You've heard about. Uh, I mean, she's a voice actor. Of course, she is. Mila voice Kunitz. actors are crazy. It's Mila Kunitz. Is Meg's? What, you, you know who Mila Kunitz is, right? I know the name. Yeah, it's Child Jackie actor? from That's that seventy show? show. Oh yeah, yeah. She's married to Ashton Kutcher. Like, have yeah. you heard about how like their their bathing habits? The the Kutchers. Yeah, and their kids. Not what is it? They only bathe oh, yeah, when they're like, physically dirty. Oh, I, I mean, I, I get heard it. them talk about like, that. Yeah, they'll go like they could go like weeks without. Taking a shower. Yeah, I go like three to four days regularly without taking a shower. No, we're talking like they could go like two weeks without taking a shower. I've done it. (laughs) I was really depressed. I've done it. I mean, shit, maybe the kids just aren't doing anything. They don't get dirty. The only time. They don't sweat. They get paid too much. I'll only go a max of two days without a shower Mm -hmm. because my beard starts getting really itchy. Mm -hmm. My head starts getting really itchy. And then my hair is just so greasy and gross. You've never taken a sink shower? Yeah. Oh yeah. Bad. Oh yeah. I've taken yeah. a sink shower several times. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like I, I go like I. Uh, today's the first shower I took since Friday. I took one Sunday only because I was extremely hungover mm-hmm. and I felt like a shower was, like, <laughs> was going to be the only way <laughs> that I didn't feel like throwing up anymore. <laughs> yep. Surprisingly, I mean, I did have mental mental hangover on Sunday, but it wasn't terrible. What sucked is I didn't have any caffeine on Sunday, and I managed mm. to drink an absurd amount of caffeine on Saturday. So I had a caffeine headache like a motherfucker on Sunday. I didn't Let's see Sunday. I woke up. Well, I woke up and almost puked again, <laughs> <laughs> and then. <laughs> He got fucking so drunk playing D and D that he threw up. <laughs> that's a true fact. That is a, it's fact. a fact. Yeah, that's not a happy fact. Oh, that's fine. I, I got I got blackout drunk at my four year old four year old godchild's birthday last weekend. So I don't want to. I'm not. We're, it's fine. I'm not judging. I'm just laughing. Well, I woke I'm kind of judging at this point. I was like, man, I'm so hungry. Uh huh. And so my and also my kids are like already awake dad can you cook us breakfast i was like uh can you stop talking <laughs> just so i made use biscuits your inside and gravy voices. and dad scrambled Christ eggs <laughs> and i ate so much biscuits and gravy i uh-huh. was like maybe the biscuits will soak up all this nonsense that's making me feel like crap <laughs> no <laughs> just made it worse <laughs> i still felt like crap and so for lunch i was like "Ooh, i'm gonna eat pizza rolls mm-hmm. bad idea I just needed some substance, like substance in my stomach. Uh-huh. Like I need, just needed something. If I, and I literally laid on the couch all day. I watched, I marathon watched Fear the Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. And now my son has a perfect description of how he's going to kill a zombie. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> because I was so worn out and tired. I was just like, whatever, just watch it. With just me. hang I out, bro. Care. <laughs> I just don't care anymore. Well, I remember in school when like me and me and my buddies would have like full laid out plans of like how we would have like barricades in front of a building and how we would like stay in guard on the top of the How roofs. old were you? <sighs> 23? No. <laughs> no, this was probably like 11, 12. My son's five. (laughs) Yeah, close enough. And he's talking about how he wants to get a knife and a bow and arrow Mm -hmm. and a pistol. Hell yeah. Not real ones. He wants to do fake ones. I was going to just give him a real pistol. (laughs) (laughs) He wants to do fake ones so he can pretend his sisters are zombies. Oh, God. Oh, God. (laughs) Yeah. You're going to have fights. That's not how it happens. Yeah, I have to have a nice little talk with him about it. I I already had it. I'm like, (coughs) zombies aren't real. Mm -hmm. And he goes... I know. Like, literally rolled his eyes at me. <laughs> I know they're fake. That's why we're pretending. It's like, you little shit. Like, <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of real things that I pretend. Like, I have money or a girlfriend. 
Tory Yard. I'm just gonna title this episode. Or better Jake's Josh. depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's depression. Social is... life. Good knees. Good knuckles on just in general. Yeah, good joints. Less mental issues, honestly. A lot less fatigue. Wish I was able to sleep more. More friends. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm just going to have that fade out. <laughs> As he's talking, just slowly fade slowly out. Slowly fade it out. And then we'll just go right in. Uh, check us out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Facebook is Absurd Entertainment. Because now we host two separate podcasts. We're a network, baby. We're a network, baby. <laughs> uh, or a baby network. I don't know. Twitter Ooh, and Instagram. No, we're not a baby absurd, network. Absurdity69. Uh, check us out on YouTube, Absurd Entertainment, on there as well, because mm-hmm. we are a network up there somehow. Uh, but we are, and yeah, uh, <laughs> that's what we're doing. So, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Doodles. Doodles. Bye.